Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a poetry for you that I've been working on for the past few days. It's a poetry to contemplate our being, to contemplate our I am presence, or to contemplate that part of us that is divine, that part of us that doesn't change. So here it goes. We think we come into the world, but the world comes into us. We think when we are happy, that happiness is born into us. But happiness is always present in the now, awaiting our recognition. When we feel happy, we are simply allowing what we already are to shine through as it is. To look for happiness is to miss the mark. To look for joy is to miss the light. So how can we make it right? Stop looking, start seeing. Stop seeing, then start feeling. Then stop feeling, start being. Then add a little bit of flavor to the mix. Add a little bit of love and just be lovingly. Be lovingly towards your I am, towards your being. For love accepts all that is. For love allows you to be you as you already are. But don't add love by doing. Just give love directly. You don't need reasons, persons, situations to give love to yourself. Just allow love to radiate freely and permeate your being. Allow the light to shine by simply bringing your awareness on your light of love. We are creatures of habit. So what is the best habit to cultivate? To be lovingly towards your I am, towards your being and all that reality is giving you. Love is easy. Love accepts all and doesn't resist a thing. Remember also that joy activates love and love activates joy. So be the empty glass of awareness for the magical potions of love and joy to fill you up. And at last, get drunk for sobriety is madness. The sound of peace is ringing in my ear. Silence is beckoning me towards itself, beckoning me towards the I am. From the I am I come and to the I am I return. My movement is the dance of stillness. I come, I go, and I flow. I flow within stillness, and as stillness, I flow. So let's be this stillness, and always remember to move and flow as this stillness. This is your power, the great I am. So be that power. But is the power of stillness enough? Listen carefully for a guest is knocking at the door and stillness neither answers nor ignores. The guest walks in the house with a smile and says, I am love. And while the door was open, another guest walks in and says, I am joy. Love and joy were so glad to meet stillness. They brought light warmth and friendship and stillness so moved by this began to dance in the radiant energy of love 
with a smile of joy. Now peace is ringing in my ear, love is radiating in my heart, and joy moves me to share these gifts. Always remember that peace is only the foundation, a house for love and joy to come and dance. You are peace, joy and love together. So live as them. I would like to highlight some of the significance I've been trying to deliver to you. The significance of you as you are. Imagine yourself to be an empty canvas, an empty field. But that emptiness is not an emptiness of lack, it's an emptiness of potential, an emptiness of wholeness. And this is where the paradox arises, is that we are peace itself. But we are not just peace without flavor. We have a lot of flavor, we have, we are spicy. And our spice is the spice of love and joy. Joy is the gladness of our being. The simple gladness when we go towards our being. But when you feel that which is beyond feeling, it does also leave a mark of feeling. And that feeling we call joy. And love is the energy that we feel, but is really beyond energy, it's beyond feeling. But when we feel that thing which is beyond feeling, it registers in us as love. Can I define love for you? The best I can do is the recognition, the understanding that we share the same being with everyone and everything. That there is a substance which binds everything together a field which connects all that is. All beings, all animals, all human beings connects them together. That field, think of it like the network that connects us all. The network is neither good or bad. The network just is. So when we contemplate who we are, we are not just this empty canvas. We are an empty canvas whose nature is joy and love. So don't look for peace. Don't look for joy. Don't look for love. It is the same madness as if somebody was going to look for their own eyes and look for their own eyes inside a room, not realizing that the eyes are those that is doing the looking. How can we find love and joy in the world if we don't realize that that which is looking for them is already the love and joy? That is why we are never satisfied, we are never calm, we are never relaxed because we are always looking. Even our spiritual practices become an act of seeking to find happiness, a seeking to find peace, a seeking to find joy. And we try to seek, to find, but what we need to do is just to give, to give ourselves joy, to give ourselves peace, to give ourselves happiness, to give and to allow what is already inside of us to come out. It's already shining like the sun, it's self-luminous. So we need to just allow, we need to just be, you want to be happy? Just be happy. Decide. Command and decree for you to be happy now. For you as the being, as the I am, has the power 
of commanding, has the power of giving because you already are that. You don't need to achieve, you don't need to find, you don't need to seek, you need to give to yourself. If you don't have something, it's because you're not giving it, you're not allowing it to come through. So, to flow like the sea is like to allow. When the waves are moving, as you guys can see, the sea allows the movement. It doesn't need to seek to move, it just moves. But be like the sea and understand that you can just allow the waves of love, peace and joy to flow into you because you already are these waves. And remember, the first step towards awakening, the first step towards freedom is peace. And peace is the lack of agitation, the lack of movement. Peace is that which doesn't move, that which is still, that which doesn't lack, that which is fulfilled, already whole. So peace is the first step, but it's not our destiny. Our destiny is love and joy. We are destined to be here to feel love and joy at every moment. Believe me or disbelieve me, it doesn't really matter. The truth is, we are being itself. And that being radiates, illuminates with love and joy without any need to achieve that light. That is the God-given ability we have, a God-given gift, I should say. A gift is given to you. You don't need to achieve that gift. You just need to receive the gift and allow the gift to shine through you as it already is. This society is pushing us every day to work harder and harder and harder. And even though it serves a purpose, an evolutionary purpose of meeting our survival needs, it often puts us in a mindset of resisting and in a mindset of going against the flow and in a mindset of trying hard. But the opposite force of evolution is our being, which doesn't work by working hard. It works by receiving. It works by allowing. It works by recognizing. It works by being. Completely different mechanism of action. It doesn't need work. It needs rest. It doesn't need achievement. It needs being. And a kind of being that is lovingly. The best way to give an example to illustrate this point is Imagine you're with your child or with a loved one, with your mother or father, and you're just with them. There's no words that is spoken. You're just with them, lovingly, compassionately. And that being lovingly is what is required for you to feel what it, what it is that you already are. So imagine, instead of directing this loving energy towards your mother or towards your child, be lovingly towards your I am presence, towards your I amness. And as you are lovingly in this I am presence, you can add joy. And joy always comes with a smile. So you can smile and the act of smiling activates further the love. So be lovingly and joyously. And I hope you can taste your true nature as it already is.
Remember, peace is only the foundation, a house for love and joy to come and dance. Thank you. 29th of November, the weather is 3 degrees and the sea is 12 degrees. I'm already feeling cold, but as I said, with momentum guys, don't lose momentum. That's the, one of the things will keep you going in life. Just ride the wave of the momentum. That's all you really need to do. Alright, let's go.